All right, so graphing linear inequalities. All right, here's what we have. All right, first thing is you're just graphing it just like normal. All right, so in this case, we just simply go what? Down five, perfect. All right, so we go down five, plot a point. And then from there, we would go what? Up two. Yeah, see, I told you, this is very simple. Up two and over three. All right, then you draw your line. All right. And when you draw your line, one difference now. All right. This symbol is what? What's the symbol? Less than, right? It's less than. Less than or equal to. So when you're dealing with less than, do you think you would be shading above or do you think you would be shading below? Below. All right. Less than means shading below. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take and we're going to shade right the region below that's it so all you have to do is just do me a favor <coughs> make it big and then that's how simple that's all there is to it guys all right on a test you just you know <coughs> no you won't need to highlight you'll just you know shade it with your pencil leg all right all right I told you, very, very simple. All right? Now, for number two, we have a little bit of issue with number two, though. All right? So y equals is just what? A what type of line? Horizontal. All right? Now, you got to listen before you do anything, though. All right? Go to y equals three. Now, why do you think I'm doing a broken line? Because it's everything what? Less than or greater than that. I don't remember what it was. In this case, it's greater than. So everybody see what I'm saying? So it doesn't include the line. Is everybody with me? All right. On the first one, the solutions included the line. Does everybody agree with that? Yes. For this one, we are not including the line. All right, so when we shade, here's what we have. We would shade everything above because it is greater than. All right, now if there were any questions or doubts about graphing the line, this is where we fix it. Yes? So like, I'm just confused on like, when you look at the dot. Okay, so all you have to do to figure that out is you look here right you look here is there an equal to so it's dotted that's right solid if it's equal to all right so now let's look at number three all right that's exactly right that's what that means anything more than three not equal to three bless you bless you again all right so here we go x is less than three so in this case, we're going to draw what type of line? Vertical. Is it solid or is it broken? Dotted line. And then we're shading which direction this time? To the what? Left. Of course it's to the left. Because left is less than. That is correct. So less is less than the bottom. Well, listen, think of it like this. It's just above and below, right? Above is greater than, below is less than. However, when you get to vertical, you just have to, or, uh, yeah, when you get to vertical, you just have to remember to the right is greater than, to the left is less than, which is, should be common sense. All right, it really should be common sense. Now, listen, I'm serious now. For those of you guys who just had a, a, a doubt about how to graph, this is what we're doing. We're fixing it. Okay? Because it's X. Remember, X equals is always a vertical line. Y equals is always the horizontal line. That is something you have to remember. Horizontal and vertical. Y equals is horizontal. X equals vertical. All right. Now I just started making it harder. 
The reason why I started making it harder now is because it's just a matter of you having to solve for y equal. All right, so here we go. Look at number four. Um, let's just go ahead and move the 2x. All right, you can move it to 3 if you want. All right, but negative 3y is less than negative 2x plus 9. You going to have an issue with that? And now we divide by what? Three. Divide negative by what? Three. Negative 3. And when you divide by negative, you have to do what? Signs, Signs change. So y is greater than 2 thirds x minus 3. Anybody have any questions with that? Come on, what? Why didn't I use well, you? You can't. It, it would be the same answer. All right, it would be the same. But the reason why I didn't on this one is because when you move it, then you move the nine, then you divide, then you switch the sign again when you flip it around. So it's really, you know, it really doesn't matter. All right. So now we're gonna graph two thirds x minus three, and so this time we just go what down three. Up to over three. And what kind of line? Dotted line. So now you just have to graph a dotted line. And this time we're shading what? Everything greater. Exactly. What? What do you want me to do? Is it because it's the bigger side? No, it's because it's above the line. Oh. Greater than is above, less than is below. Yes. Okay. James. I don't really want to why is this on the bottom? So tell him. Tell him. No, like it's equal to uh, It's just like the open mm -hmm. part or the front seat. That's, That's exactly line. correct. It's just like the bracket and the parentheses. If it's equal to, it's a solid, right? All right, guys, I told you this is very easy. All right, so now number five, what am I doing? Right, so 4y equals... So far, so good, right? Then divide by four. Y is greater than. Drew, give it. Four Y is greater than five X minus sixteen. It's a big difference. Okay. Because why? Because listen to what you said. If you say five X minus sixteen, the five is positive. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. You're on this, yeah. right? Good. Good. That's good. Always come on, guys. That's how you get a little better. Just make the corrections. Now, Connor Drinker. You're not daydreaming, are you? Come on, man. Well, I'm on number five. I'm on number five. Come on, I want you to get your Xbox back. <laughs> All right, which means get your work done. It'd be nice to be able to use your phone every once in a while, too. All right? So in order for that to happen, I'm going to have to give a good report back to your mom and dad. All right? No daydreaming. Do all the work. All right, with that, how do I graph this, Connor Drinkard? Um. <laughs> Very good. Up, you go up four. Up four. A lot of point. But then, you highlight everything. Uh, but what do I have to do first? I have to use the slope. Come on, Connor. I have to go what? Down. Oh, down four and over five. Down, yeah, down five. five. And then over four. Yeah, listen. And again, it's not that it, you're not humorous. It's just that I, I, I really, I'm, I'm kind of funny about your Xbox, and that's kind of funny. But I'm, I'm really not kidding. The only way you're going to figure things out is you have to do the problem. All right? You shouldn't be just copying things down. You should be doing them with me. 
That way, when I ask you to do something, you know what to do. Hopping is not the answer. So we went down five to the right four. Does everybody agree with that? Now, is it solid or dotted? Dotted. Still dotted. All right. So just do dotted lines. And then we're shading everything what? Above. Above, exactly, because it's greater than. So it would be everything over here. All right. Now, number six. Here we go. Solving for y. What do I need to do? So, now what? Yep, so I change. That's it. That's all there is to it. I'm doing the next problem. And all you're doing is copying it off the board. Now what do I do? How do I graph it? Start at negative 2. Up 5. And over 1. Up 5 and over 1. Solid or dotted? Solid. Solid. Where is greater than at? Are you above the line or below the line? You are above the line. I didn't say left and right. That never came out of my mouth. I said above and below. I am above. All right, that's why you don't change your answer just because somebody else tells you something. No, you just stick with what you think is correct and let me correct you. That is above the line. Above. I didn't say to the right and to the left. All right, that's not greater than and less than. All right, and I always used to tell kids, if you're struggling with that fact, draw a mountain. Greater than is above the mountain. So all greater than is going to be above. All less than is going to be where? Below. Do you understand that? It doesn't matter how steep you are. It doesn't matter how steep. Greater than is still what? Above. All right? Think about it above and below the mountain. What? Is it above because there's a line under it? Less than it's greater. Greater. That's right. You're greater. You're above. All right? All of these points right here. Look right here. Here's another way of looking at it. Look up. All of these points right over here are above that line. Yeah. Everybody see that? Mm -hmm. All right, that's why it's greater than. All right. Let's look at number seven. All right, so the first thing I have to do on number seven is what? Mm -hmm. Right? So I have 7y is less than or equal to 2x plus 7. And now what? Divide by 7. Everybody have, is everybody okay with that? Yes, sir, good. It's not, it's not that I switched them, it's just that I moved something. Whenever I move something, I change the sign. Is that what you're asking me? Yeah, but like, it's still in the same order. Well, the, the 2x is now on the right side of the inequality. Oh, oh, I know. Okay, good. And you divide it by 7, right? Thank you. You want to try to graph this one? Yeah. All right, tell me how to graph it. Not first. Oh, you'd go, you'd go up one. Up one and plot a point, please. Uh, now, think about it now. Then you would go, shh, shh, shh. Sh sh that's right. Look, man, that's what I'm telling you. It's not even really that hard. You just don't do the work. And I'm telling you, life is hard. Come on, and I'm telling you, the math is not that hard if you do the work. All right? 
up to over 7. Now the question is, is it a solid or a dotted? Solid. solid. And then it's, it is uh, shaded which way? Yeah, because it's less than. Yeah. Right. Does everybody see that's just simple? Simple. It's a good review of graphing lines, though. Putting things in y equals mx plus b. All right. Let me do. Uh, so I'm not doing this, but number eight would just be a what? Vertical. Vertical. Is it solid or dotted? Dotted. Dotted, shaded. Above. There's no above on a vertical. Above. Y to the left. To the right. Oh, oh. Tell them to the what? Because? X is greater than. Eight. Greater than. Very good. All right. So number nine, Connor Goss, what would I do? Okay. Oh, so it's just a on, on the Solid or, or dotted? Solid. Then shaded? That's what you're doing. I'm not doing these two. You're supposed to be having them done already. All right, last one for me, number 10. And I'm just going to let you guys finish this up, and that's it for today. All right. Hopefully you agree. It's very easy. Just a lot of good practice. Michael, let me hear you. Number 10. What am I going to do, Michael? Okay, so it becomes what, Michael? Or, just tell me the next line. All right. So it's negative 6y is less than negative 4x minus 2. All right, that was good. Now what? Uh, I would divide. Sir, good work. And then you have x of y is uh, one. Yeah, very good. Switch the sign uh, and then <coughs> reduce, reduce the fraction. Uh, negative two and three. Is it negative? It is positive. Yep, good job. Uh, minus wow, perfect. Now if you graph mm -hmm. it, you're in great shape. So now what do I do? At? No. Come on now. So it's always this right here, buddy. This is where you start. What? How come they're all Shh, 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 shh. What? Is there a problem with what I'm doing? No, no. What? Since you changed on the other side, didn't you change the negative? Oh, yeah, because I didn't do the negative. Good job. So this is positive three, Michael, not negative. Alright, so now tell me what to do now, Mike. Come on. The y intercept is always first. So you plot that point. What point am I plotting, Michael? The three. It's okay. The three. So I go up three. You hear me, Michael? So you plot that point, go up three. And, and this is what I'm trying to tell you, Connor. And Connor, see, not, it's, it's not something everybody just knows and you don't. Other people in the same boat, you just ask me a question, though. We can get you out of the ditch. All right, now, Michael, I want you to go back to question number seven. What did I do first? I went what? Up one. I go up one. Now, go to question number six. And then on number five. And then on number th four. And then on number one. That's what you do first. Right? Then you use the slope. All right, so what's the slope? After we go up three, what do we do now? You go up, you were right. Up how many? No. 
Uh, well, yes. Okay. What you're saying is true. I went up three and plotted a point. Now, from there, what do I do? That's when you look at this right here. That's when you look at this. So what do I do? Go up. How many? And? That's it. That's all you do. You go up two and to the right three. Now we have to figure out if it's solid or dotted. What is it? Help him, guys. Because there's no what? There's no equal to. And now, how am I shading? Above or below? Well, you have to look right here. Say that. What is that? It's either less than or greater than. It's greater than. You hear me? It's greater than. Greater than is shaded how? Above or below? Above. Hopefully that wasn't a guess. It's to me logical. You shade above for greater than. All right. Now look, I'm 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 still not convinced. Girls, I'm pretty happy with you. Boys, I'm still. James, are you good with this? Okay. So what about you, Matt? You know how to do everything. All right. Uh. Hold up. Connor, are you getting there? Yeah, I'm getting there. So stop sitting there and do all, how many problems are there? Like 20, I think. 22. Get busy. Do all 22 right now. Connor Goss, what about you? Yeah. You know how to do it? Yeah. Come on. Drew. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Michael, you and me are going to do the next problem. James, what? I don't get why. Um, because greater than is above, James. Oh, wait, never mind. Maggie, you good? Yeah. Girls, Reagan, yeah. you know everything, right? Yeah. Emery? Yeah. You got it? Sandra? Mm -hmm. All right, Michael, you and me, number 11. What do I have to do first? Uh, yes, you do. Good. Divide by negative nine. Good job. Good job. Michael, that's easy. Right? All right, now, how do I graph, Michael? Up one. Uh -huh. And yes. And now what type of line? Dotted or solid? Yeah, the reason it's dotted because there's no equal to. Okay. Now, how am I shading? That's correct. Nothing to it. Okay, Connor, number 12. Okay, so I already did the other thing. Good. We're going to do the plus two. And then? So, I mean, so we go up two. Good. And then we go down three to the left two. No. Hey, that's a good mistake for you, buddy. Now look at my, so the 3 is negative and the 2 is what? Are the 2 positive? Yes. Because if they're both, if they're both negative, that would make it a positive. You with me? So if it's a negative, the top is negative, the bottom is positive. So it's 
Then you'd go what? Yes, up to. And then what kind of line? Solid or dotted? Oh, it's a dotted or solid. Solid, because there's an equal. And then your shading. You're shading down. Right, below. Yeah. You're shading below. Feel good? Yeah. All right, James. Good? All right, guys. Um, I'm going to leave you the other 10 problems to do on your own. All right? Wait. What? Oh, yeah, so... It's a what type of line, horizontal or vertical? Mm -hmm. At what point? Yes, so right, so it is the x-axis. Right, so it would be a dotted line. Where? Of course, that's right. All right, kind of tricky. All right, kind of tricky. All right, guys. Uh, tomorrow, because there's so many kids out, what we'll do is we will. I'll show you how to use your calculator tomorrow. It's, you don't really need it, but it's really fun to do. We'll go through the shape and your calculator. All right. Very interesting. Yeah, it's very nice. The calculator is really nice. All right. Um, it looks like we're also going to have uh, reviews tomorrow and Wednesday. Of you know everything, I'm giving you two days. All right, Thursday is a shorter class period, so I don't really like to give tests on Thursday because I'm not here on Friday. So, again, those of you guys, Thursday is a big day. Thursday is a big day. And if you're not successful, guess what? We're going to have another parent conference. All right? So make sure you're good. Make sure you're good. Do the 22 problems right now. And it would be nice if you kind of buddy up with somebody and make sure you're right. All right. If you have a question, you can come let me know.